Hi, hi, I'm here. I just finished my last video that I did on the Evernew titanium uh, alcohol stove, the one that I did with the Bargo titanium 750 milliliter mug. And I thought while I had the camera set up, I'd show you the order that I just got yesterday from uh, Folding Firebox. I got some extra gear for my uh, Folding Firebox stove. I got a couple of fire sticks, an adjustable fire grate, and an extended grill plate. This ought to be some cool stuff. You've seen, and I think I, I forget how far back, I did some videos on this. This is the one that I think is great for car camping or tent camping or cabin camping. Definitely not something for uh, Graham Weenies. But it looks like this. I just put it in an old cargo pocket. This is the folding firebox stove. Comes with two fire sticks, but I, instead of using the rusty wires that I've been using, I got two more fire sticks. So now I've got four of them. And can't look, the stove looks like so. Now this is the steel one, so it's a little rusty and stuff in places, but works great. So what I got today was I have the grill plate, the mugs, and I've been using this for an adjustable uh, adjustable f uh, fire grill, the fire grate rather. You, know, you just put the fire sticks in like so. And then I've been using this hardware cloth that's getting a little worse for the wear in there like that. That way I could set my Trangia or the wood chips or the fuel pellets right on there. But this thing's going to rust out soon. I got this. It's an adjustable, I keep screwing up the name, adjustable fire grate. And it just fits in like so. Let me see if I get this right. Cool, first time. Goes in just like that. So you can adjust it anywhere on these adjusting holes, as high or as low as you want it. And it's a nice flat surface. I won't be afraid to use my Transia on that. Also, the other thing that I got was this. The uh, This is the grill plate that I had before. And Steve's come out with a much larger one. This one's a little iffy as far as, I mean, it's good for one person, but if you need to make multiple things for people, it's not that big of a surface. So Steve came out with this extended one that fits on here. Got to get it on right. And remember, I haven't done this before. Come on. Anyway, it goes on like so. It fits down in there. And it gives you a much wider surface to cook on. So now you can easily cook for two or three people on this. I'm looking forward to playing with that. I want to use this with those uh, ready-to-light charcoal briquettes. They fit in here pretty good, and I was looking for something larger for grilling. So this ought to be handy. So that's that. And then I also got these quick stove fire starter emergency heat source. I wanted to give this a try. He's selling these in his store. They're made out of uh, ground up cedar and refined wax, whatever that is. It looks a lot like my hockey puck things. It only weighs, I think it weighs like three and a half ounces. So it's not very heavy. And from the, what I read about it, it looks like it's supposed to burn for about 30 minutes. So they advocate that you, you break them in half for 15 minutes and use it that way. So I'll be having some fun playing with these. I didn't get the stove that it goes with because I want to use it in something like this. Okay, so that'll be some more videos that are coming up. I'll maybe make my spam, spam burgers or whatever on this or pork roll. That'd be good. So I thank Steve for getting this out to me. 
I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. This is cool. Bye now.